Good morning. Hello. Hi, YouTube fam. I am on my way to my first ever invited hotel stay with the Union and Post in Wyndham, New York, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. So let's go. room is so stinking cute okay so we are in the Catskills and it is very Catskills inspired I mean look at the attention to detail with the things in the room I mean we even have skis over here on the wall everything is just so 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 cute they just left me some fruits and some water, also a sweatshirt and a Union and Post bag. I'm so excited that they were so kind enough to leave that for me. And on top of it, they just took my lunch order. They're gonna be bringing me lunch to my room before I go golfing at one o'clock. This evening, I'm gonna be taking a ride up the mountain on a ski lift, I believe, to see the sunset. I'm super excited to do that because I've never done that before. And then they're gonna have me at Union and Post restaurant, uh, which is the restaurant on site here at the hotel. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be going to the spa. I'm gonna get a massage and a facial. And then I have some free time to sort of, you know, explore a little bit. And then I have a horseback riding ride tomorrow at 4 p.m. And then I'm gonna come back to the hotel and have dinner again at Union and Post. And then on Saturday morning, I'm gonna be going to another restaurant to have breakfast. And then I'm gonna go for a hike. And then I'm gonna check out the farmer's market in the local area. And then I'm gonna head back to the city. So we've got a couple of very busy days and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. Popping in with a quick word from our shoe sponsor today, Vavaya. As you guys can see, I have a small teeny tiny shoe obsession. Today we are trying on some shoes with a brand called Vavaya. They are eco-friendly and sustainable, all made with recyclable materials. Oh my goodness gracious. The first pair of boots that I'm gonna be trying on with you guys are these gray booties with the green heel. These are just fire, 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 fire. I just wanted to show you guys how stretchy they actually are. These are essentially gonna be like sock boots. Super, super comfortable. For those of you who have never heard of Vavaya before, they are a chic footwear brand that focuses on sustainability, they are eco-friendly, and a responsible brand. All of their products, including these amazing boots that I have on, are made from recyclable materials and they use 3D technology. Vavaya has established a zero-waste process to create a seamless 3D knitted design for the ultimate combination of comfort and function. And when I mean comfort and function, I mean comfort and function. You guys saw how stretchy these are, which makes them really super incredibly easy to just slip on and go. And each pair of shoes is a combination of six recycled water bottles found from either the city or the ocean. I cannot even get over that. That just blows my mind. The heel is low enough for comfort that I can wear these for many hours at a time and I can even do jumping jacks. Okay, let's see what else they sent me. 
I wanted to point out one thing. This is their upgraded sole. Look at how soft this is. You see this little cushion in the back here? This is going to enhance the comfort of wearing these loafers for a long period of time. This is exactly how I would style it with a really fun colored sweater and a pair of cropped pants. Okay, did you see how easy it was to slip these on? Let me show you again. It's gonna take me one second. Boom. You would never know that these were made of recycled water bottles. Here's a little up close and personal shot of the shoes. And it does look like the soles of the shoes have a lot of really good grip. So can't, can't really moonwalk in these guys. And let me show you my very last pair that they sent. It's so hard to determine which is my favorite pair. But if you guys know me, you know that I had to pick the faux fur pair of slip-on heels. Let me give you guys an up close and personal look at these amazingly beautiful shoes. <gasps> they create all of their shoes to be easy to put on. Okay, took me two seconds. These are the perfect shoes to throw on and head out the door looking chic and fashionable at the same time. I styled it with a pair of white denim and a sort of beige sweater. And on top of it, they're comfortable to walk in. <laughs> Ambavaya is so kind and generous to give all of my followers 12% off of their purchase with the code Mare 12 I'm gonna show you some of their incredible selection right here, you guys. They have high heels, they have other sandals, they've got high heeled sandals, they have over the knee boots, they have water repellent shoes, they have sneakers, I mean, the list is endless. Their selection is obviously insane. Go on over, give them a follow, check them out. If you guys have any questions, drop them in the comment section below. And thank you so much to Vavaya for sponsoring today's video. Let's give the pumpkin soup a try. This smells so good and completely puts me into a fall mood. Mm. It's not what I was expecting. I think I was expecting it to be a little bit sweeter for some reason. So it's kind of like, I don't know how to describe it. Kind of like salty and sweet, but not sweet. That makes sense. I like it. What an incredible fall lunch in the Catskills. Oh, veggie panini, yeah. This panini. Oh, I'm so good. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. First up on the itinerary, golf. Country Club. It's a really cute 18 hole course. If it's anything like the drive that I had up here, it's going to be a stunning course. Uh, I'm not playing so well right now. I'm on hole four and I had initially actually uh, went out on my own and there's a group of two men in front of me and they asked me to join them. So now we have a group of three and uh, they seem like they can play pretty well. So it should be a good day. <music> course was beautiful. If you could just picture the Catskills and like the mountains, essentially we were like playing in the mountains. It was amazing. I played terribly, probably the worst I've played in a long while. So let's see what I scored. Okay. Three over, four over, five over, six over, seven over, eight over, nine over, 10 over, 10 over, 13 over, 14, 15 over par. That was not, that was not a good showing. <laughs>
Well, I'd be better if I practiced and played a little bit more, but I go out there and I expect to play like my parents and my brother. And if you don't practice, you're not gonna get better. All right, golf is finished. I'm gonna head back to the hotel. Probably get some work done, get ready, and then head to the mountain to watch the sunset. So I'm like trying to be in the sun because the sun is so much warmer than it is outside right now in the shade, but it's beautiful. Fall is here, especially in the Cascos. I just had such an amazing nap. <laughs> I never nap, but I was falling asleep editing my work. So getting ready to go to the sky ride and I'm just worried that I'm gonna get really cold because as soon as the sun drops, it's gonna be freezing. So I'm just gonna quickly change my outfit and I'm gonna head to the mountain to see this set. All right, so this is what I'm gonna wear. I just threw on my brown two-piece Mikey sweatpants set with the oversized denim jacket and my Air Forces. Let me see if I can show those to you guys a little bit better. And then I'm also going to bring the blanket. Isn't that amazing? Wait, you guys, I think the mountain is closed. I just drove in. It said Wyndham Mountain Sky Ride, and then they had an additional sign at the bottom. It said closed. Oh no, I think that this is where it's supposed to be. I think the whole mountain is closed, you guys. Guess no sky ride. All right, well, maybe next time. Okay, so what did I do? I adjusted. I looked up on Google the best place to watch the sunset in Wyndham and it suggested five state lookout and I drove 10 minutes up the road or down the road and it looks like I'm probably on the wrong side of the mountain but we'll probably still get a really nice sunset but not on the correct side. I am at the restaurant on the premises of Union Post and I have to show you guys the restaurant. This is the outside area, but it is so cute. Friday morning and it is 7:45, and they just delivered fresh coffee to my room. The service here is amazing. Good morning guys. 
days. It is Friday morning. It's my first morning here. And I have to say, it's beautiful during the mornings up here. It's 45 degrees right now. It's a little bit chilly, but it's going to warm up because that's just usually what Paul does. But I had coffee delivered to the room this morning, which was really sweet. Took a shower, just lounged around a little bit. And now I'm gonna go to Higher Grounds Coffee for breakfast before I go to the spa. So on today's agenda, breakfast, spa to get a facial and massage. This afternoon, I have some free time. I'm gonna explore the area a little bit. And then at 4 p.m., I'm gonna go for a horseback ride. And then I have dinner tonight back at the hotel. Well, that was just, just lovely. Ugh. The services were amazing. And the owner, oh my God, incredible. Incredibly knowledgeable, friendly. She was just amazing. I'm so glad I got the chance to meet her and go to her spa. So I had an hour um, massage. She did the um, facial for me and she did a peel on me, which is the first time I've ever had a peel done. Chemical peel, that is. And she would call it the runway peel. <laughs> I was really red afterwards. Um, it seems to have dissipated now, but it feels amazing. Um, I think I'm a little dehydrated, she says, so I do need to drink more water. Although I feel like I drink so much water and I'm always just still dehydrated. And then I got a foot soak done, which was very relaxing as well. I got some products that I'm gonna try out from a brand that I've actually never heard of before. So it's a Hungarian brand and that's completely organic and she lives by them. So she uses them personally. I'm gonna just take her advice and try um, this at-home chemical peel. So the same sort of chemical peel we did today, there's an at-home version that I'm gonna give a shot. I'm back at higher grounds because I'm gonna go get another sandwich real quick because I gotta go back to the hotel, change into jeans and boots because I'm going to go horseback riding, which I'm so excited about. I haven't been on a horse in years and I used to love it and I'm really excited for today. Okay, I wanted to come up here real quick to show you guys what I'm wearing to go horseback riding. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just know that I needed to wear jeans. I remember being told that time and time again, anytime that I got on the horse to prevent any rubbing. I just threw on these bass boots that I got years ago. I'm pretty sure I've never worn them since, but I felt like it was a good occasion. I just have on a tank top because it is a little warm outside, but what I'm gonna do to complete my look is bring this Wyndham Union and Post sweatshirt. In the event that it gets cold, which I'm sure it will, I'm just going to throw this on over my shoulders and <laughs> that's it. Pretty horses. Wow. Okay, you guys, I am getting ready to go horseback riding. They're so pretty.
What's her name? Oreo. Oreo? Mm -hmm. Oh, Oreo's pretty. Okay, guys, I just got back from the horse ride and it was incredible. My legs <laughs> were shaking when I got off. It was so funny. It was beautiful. I was scared the whole time, so I didn't film while I was up there, but wait until you see this. <laughs> no hands! slow mornings good morning it is saturday morning and my time at union and plus has come to a close i think there's going to be a little bit of a gray day out i think there's some rain on the way so i want it to be really cozy and comfy threw on some cowboy boots some of my favorite amazon leggings and an oversized sweatshirt from H&M. I am getting ready to go to breakfast and then I'm going to do a few other things in the area before I head back to the city. Okay, it is 50 degrees outside. I do not have the appropriate clothing to be outside for an extended period of time. However, I really wanted to go on the Wyndham path. It was highly suggested to me that I should do this like little walk. It's freezing outside. So I'm gonna see how far I make it. I have a sweatshirt on, some pants, some boots, and I have this like lightweight denim shirt that I'm gonna just wear. Let's go check it out. Okay, wait. Should I be worried? Use path at your own risk. hear the rain on my roof it is so unfortunate that it's such a icky geeky, yucky day out but it's the perfect day to pop around go into some shops explore a little bit so last night i had dinner at the union post restaurant um, with the owners of the hotel and my friend ola who owns it and then we also had dinner with this local bookshop owner her name is jen she owns briars and brambles bookshop and it's right around the corner from the hotel which is perfect location i did tell her that i would come in today to check out her little shop and i wanted to show you guys which books i got so i got this book called horse by geraldine brooks my aunt told me that she read this a couple months ago and she suggested that i read it she thinks that i'm gonna love it i've been trying to locate this book in a local bookshop specifically because i love you know sourcing books locally when i'm in little towns like i tried to find this in detroit and they didn't have it in the bookshop that i went to so luckily i found it today and then i also picked up the covenant of water so first of all jen the owner told me that this was her favorite book of the year and then also when i was on cape cod the other day i saw a woman in a coffee shop reading this as well. However, did y'all see this? 
This is 715 pages. I'm not the fastest reader on the planet, so this may take me quite some time, but since it was Jen's favorite book and we talked about tons of books last night, I, I get the sense that we have very similar taste in reading. So hopefully I can just fly through this and that means I have to maybe carve out some more pleasurable reading time during the days, which I really wanna do and it's becoming fall and winter, so it's a great time to just cozy up and get to reading. The other thing is I wanted to tell you guys, I'm a big nerd. I love reading. I love reading books. I usually do a roundup of all the books that I read every year on my blog. So actually one of the tricks that I started during the pandemic was I started leaving my phone in my kitchen to charge overnight. And that really got me reading way more when I go to bed. So instead of scrolling on my phone in the bed, it's now in the kitchen where I can't get to. So when I go to bed, I end up picking up a book and I read. It has helped me read so many more books. So if you guys want to read more, I highly suggest taking your phone out of your bedroom and just picking up a book when you're in the bed. All right, guys, we have officially ended our Cat Skills Wyndham Union and Post weekend. It was absolutely, absolutely incredible. I'm just shy of like really great foliage. So I feel like from here until like the end of October is gonna be a really fantastic time to visit the Cat Skills and visit Union and Post. A huge, huge, huge special shout out to Union and Post for hosting me. This is my first ever hotel invite and I just feel so honored and grateful that you guys invited me to stay with you guys. You guys took incredible care of me. Also the itinerary was incredibly special and I enjoyed everything that you guys set up for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being amazing hosts and thank you for taking amazing care of me. So I actually didn't realize how close the Catskills were to Manhattan and to where I live in Jersey City. Like it took me two hours to get back, no problem. Like once I hit an hour and a half, I felt like I was already home. So super easy to get to. I was also two hours west of where my parents live. So if you live in Western Mass, if you live in the city, like really easy to get to. What is north? It would probably be Canada. So I guess like Vermonters could probably get there with no problem. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me this weekend to Union and Post in Wyndham, New York in the Caskills. As always, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell to get notification for every time I upload a new video. And if you guys feel so inclined, you guys can hit that super thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.